Places of deposit, or pods, are appointed to hold original public records from local state government agencies which may be of interest to a local community and which are on open access to the public. There are two types of pods. Class A pods can hold permanent and temporary records and Class B pods can only hold temporary public records. This short video aims to explain what a public record is and to explain the difference between permanent and temporary public records. Firstly, what is a public record? A public record is defined by the Public Records Act 1973 as any record made or received by someone working for a Victorian state or local government agency in the course of their duties. A public record can also be any record made or received by a court or person acting judicially in Victoria. Records can be either hard copy, such as a paper file or a register, or electronic, such as a database, digital file or email. So then, what is not a public record? Records which are not public records are records made by private individuals, businesses or by Commonwealth Government agencies. These include personal records in private collections, such as private letters or correspondence or tax records, and commercial records, such as corporate documents and company records. Public records are either open or closed. All records transferred to the Custody of Public Record Office Victoria are on open access to the public unless they are specifically closed under the Public Records Act. There must be a justifiable reason to close access to records. The most common reason is that the records contain personal and private information about people who may still be living, such as medical or police records. Pods are not permitted to hold closed records. This means that all public records held at a place of deposit must be accessible by the public. Public records are classified as either permanent or temporary. Class B pods can hold temporary public records, but not permanent public records. Let's go through the difference. A permanent public record is a record that must be kept forever, never to be destroyed. The Public Records Act requires Public Record Office Victoria to work with Victorian government agencies to select public records which have continuing value for permanent preservation as state archives. These are records that provide evidence of the authority and functions of state and local governments, their decision-making processes, and the implementation and outcomes of those decisions, including the nature of their influence and effect on communities, individual lives, and the environment. Only a very small percentage of all records created by the government are required as state archives, roughly 5%. Examples of permanent public records include rate books, local council minutes, and annual reports from government agencies. Class B pods can only hold duplicate copies of permanent public records, not the originals. On the other hand, a temporary public record is a record that Public Record Office Victoria has determined is not required to be kept permanently as a state archive. Although not considered to be of permanent value, it must be retained by the relevant government agency for a specified period of time for legal, administrative or other requirements. Once this retention period has expired, the agency can choose to either destroy the record or, subject to Public Record Office approval, transfer it to a place of deposit. The vast majority of all public records created by government are considered to be temporary. These open access temporary records are the only public records that Class B pods can have in their collections. Examples include animal registration records, cash books and visitor books. Public Record Office Victoria issues record keeping standards which specify which public records are permanent and which are temporary. These standards can be found on the Public Record Office Victoria website. Remember, the transfer of records to a pod by a government agency must always be approved by Public Record Office Victoria before the transfer can occur, so be sure to check this before accepting government records. For more information go to the Community Collections page on the Public Record Office Victoria website or call PROV and ask to speak to someone from the Community Archives team.